Hello YouTube, we're releasing you guys the new OBS update at the 18.01 uh, release right here and uh, we're actually recording it right now. Um, we'll go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be looking at and exactly how it's going to work. We're going to start off with creating a new scene. You go to add, um, add, and you can click the name of the scene that you want. You click OK and it should give you a scene. This will give you the chance to create um, this whole thing back here. It will create you a whole bunch. Alright, we're going to go to the sources here. I'm going to create and you can click add um, and go of course to display capture when doing this it's going to put a thing here um, that I'm highlighting uh, that will say display capture and you're going to go ahead and go to the properties and it will display anything that is actually displayed on the screen for game captures you can go ahead and actually um, click add here and make a game capture right below the display capture uh, the game capture will basically um, capture anything in a specific window for a game that you want Alright, so now going on to settings, and this will lead you guys actually into um, the full out settings. Uh, your theme can be dark, it can be the default, it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, I like dark, um, it's easy, to, it's compatible to work with for me. Uh, for other people, they might like the default. Anyways, let's go ahead and sc skip over to the, um, to the output section. Alright, here at the output section, we're looking at the basic stuff here. Um, Clicking on encoder, you're actually going to want to change this to X264 and leave it like that. Your rescale output should be at 1600 by 900 guys, and as well your rate control should be at CBR and your bit rate can be at 2500. All right, changing that won't really put much of this, but this is of course guys for streaming. Um, but going into recording, so this is for the streaming, but going into the recording tab, um, we're going to go ahead and look into the more advanced stuff here. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and put this at basic real quick. Alright, uh, so looking over here, guys, here is the basic stuff of, uh, what we're going to be messing with, basically. Um, our audio track should be set at 1, and, um, our recording path is actually where you're going to record your videos. I put it on my captures, but you can, of course, fix that in the meantime. I'm going to another video of another guy. I can show you exactly how I do that. We're just going through the basic parts of making this HD. Going on to the next, you want your recording format to be MP4, so it's video compatible and does not delete or get removed in a certain amount of time. Going into here, your 264, which should be one option, or it will be um, one of your uh, graphics card, uh, graphics cards such as NVIDIA or AMD. I prefer to use the graphics card depending on what type of graphics cards you have. I have the RX 480 MSI 8 gigabytes, so this will work just great. Your rescale output should be a 600 and X uh, should be a 600 by 900. Don't click the resale output. Do not like messing with that much. Um, but as your present goes, um, you want to actually go ahead and click recording. All right. There's going to get quality and make sure it's balanced. Make sure your profile is. Um, you can put it at main. This isn't really much you want to worry about. You can do it, of course, if you want. Um, your target bit rate uh, for uh, this. Just keep this all the same. But going to recording, this is going to be where you want to target your stuff. Uh, this is going to be where everything is going to make a major difference in your recording um, uh, videos so right here your peak bit rate will basically be what the peak will be at the maximum peak of your overall sequence all right we're going to want to go ahead and actually change this to um, uh, I think since we're using a different output capture uh, you want to go ahead and put this at what you think would be reasonable for example my since I have a nice PC I can actually put this bit rate at 40 40 40,000 is decent. Um, it's great. Works fine. And then you can put your Mac, your peak bit rate at let's say 60,000 or 55,000. Um, or you could just keep it at 40,000 if you want, but that would of course be your highest. But if you have a lower computer, you might want to put um, your bit rate at 20,000. All right, then you might want to put your peak bit rate at 40,000. So always go up by, um, of course, 20,000, um, and that should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and put this at. Uh, 60,000 here and uh, put your key in overall. It's fine at 1.0. It's not really doing you much um, Here though, you're gonna be messing with a lot of recording stuff. All right, if you want to overall do the program advanced um, Is here this can control your minimum QP and your maximum QP I have mine at the highest and 11 is fine. These are kind of somewhat default settings um, Here is your video adapter make sure that is your graphics card and nothing else um, and uh, as well, clicking OK here, our settings should be good. Um, but make sure you apply them. But now we're going to go into our um, go back to output and click audio. All 
all right over here make sure your track one audio is 320 um, because it's going to be the highest sequence available in this um, update all right and now going to the audio actual section guy going to your mic here you can actually go ahead and type in your PC here sound and it will bring you to a uh, sound panel and you can go ahead and go to the recording tab click your microphone and you can go ahead and do your listen levels you can mess with this go into your advanced go look at your bit right here uh, mine is at HZ as you can see here so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the 48 KZ HZ one because that's what Max's mind I've messed with the settings here I'm um, putting all your settings like just the right things right here it should be easy and simple to mess with um, you should have stereo, you should have your speakers at what you want to listen to from games, desktop audio, your microphone so they can hear you, and all this other stuff doesn't really do need to be needed. Um, this stuff right here is just simple that settings you can put as a reminder here, but you don't really mess with that. Um, actually guys, I want you to now go ahead and go to your base canvas resolution and put that at 920 by 1080 for both the output and the base. Alright, this is very important here, so it will give you the 1080p quality that you need for your video. But um, underneath that, you're actually going to want to put the downscale filter on the LAN um, CZO sharpening scaling 32 samples. Alright, that will be your best. Do not do any of them. Put your thing at common FPS values at 60. And um, these are just hot keys you can simply put stuff at. To start streaming, you can put a key there. And uh, your advanced, um, you can put your processor priority at above normal. That's what I have because I have a decent processor to do that. Um, not the best though, so I don't put it at the highest. Above normal is perfectly fine. And uh, these settings should get you uh, 1080p perfect 60 rate, uh, 60 frames per second. If not, then there's something, maybe you're running everything too high for your computer. Um, if you have a great computer, it's still not working. Uh, maybe you could try messing with uh, some of these um, advanced features here. Uh, maybe you can go to the master here. And you can mess around with all of these rolls and... Um, anyways, yeah, this is uh, basically what you're going to be looking for, and peace out guys, hope you guys enjoyed.